Welcome to this course on Transportation and the Environment, Public Health and Social Justice. This course is one of a series of transportation courses available in the Plan Edison Library. My name is Rick Wilson. I'm a professor of urban and regional planning at Cal Poly Pomona, and I also have served as a transportation consultant focusing on issues of parking reform, transit-oriented development, and travel demand management. And I've written a couple of books on parking reform that are shown here. To address the question of environmental, public health, and social impacts of transportation, we first have to ask the question, what does transportation do? And transportation facilities and services help us overcome spatial distances between activities and locations. So transportation systems help people take part in their daily household activities. They allow businesses and households to make locational choices across space. They provide labor mobility on a daily basis and labor relocation basis, and allow efficiency and specialization in the economy where regions can specialize what they're good at and then engage in trade. And finally, transportation systems provide capacity for emergency services. The course content is going to review both local environmental and social impacts and global environmental impacts. So we'll start by reviewing the type and scale of impacts and then delve into local impacts, direct impacts. We'll also discuss local social impacts of transportation decisions and then deal with strategies for addressing those impacts. We'll then move on to global and environmental impacts such as energy use and climate change and strategies for addressing those impacts. One of the key questions in dealing with the environmental public health and social equity implications of transportation is how to address these issues. So we'll discuss regulatory approaches versus market-based approaches to these problems. And we'll conclude by summarizing climate change's impact on transportation facilities. So why this course? When I started teaching transportation planning 30 years ago, there probably wouldn't be a course like this. While environmental issues were certainly relevant, there was a lack of attention to public health and social equity implications of transportation. And I think that comes from the era of transportation planning as accommodation. Transportation facilities were built and expanded and operated to respond to travel demands that were taken as a given. And this sort of fits into the idea of predict and provide. That's the role of transportation planning. Environmental planning's job was to review, identify, and mitigate negative environmental effects. So in a way, it was like a Band-Aid on the wound rather than designing a transportation system that was sustainable. So in this era, one would study and mitigate the after effects of transportation systems. What I see today is that transportation planning is pursuing a vision in a more proactive way, designing transportation strategies to support broad social goals, considering transportation within a social vision and a global focus, and therefore developing plans and strategies to support integrated action. So the newer model is to account for impacts from the beginning, and that's what we'll do in this course. So let's begin.